Good evening, I'm Stanley Stanson. And I'm Seymour Butts. Our main story tonight, salvia divinorum, which answers the age-old question, what if some weak marijuana has some mushrooms? Salvia is commonly referred to as purple sticky, magic mint, sister salvia, diviner sage, or sally D. It was originally known as the herb of Maria, used by the Mazatecs in Oaxaca, Mexico. It is used to bring about spiritual visions for the shaman, used in a ritual of divination and healing, because unlike vaccines, it doesn't cause autism. Nowadays, it is legal in most states and treated like alcohol. It's used recreationally and can be bought easily online or in stores as an alternative to marijuana. Salvia is a hallucinogen, which means it induces hallucinations, though the federal government has not scheduled it. Salvia can get into the body many ways. Its leaves can be chewed thoroughly, it can be smoked like an adobe, it can be smoked in a bomb, or it can be vaporized with a lighter and then inhaled. Unlike weed, salvia must be deeply inhaled for about 20 to 40 seconds for the full effect. Salvinorin A, which is the active chemical found in salvia, attaches to the kappa opioid receptors. Note, these are not the same receptors that other opioid drugs like heroin affects. The short-term effects of salvia may include about 30 minutes of hallucinations, changes in visions in all senses, mood swings, detaching from reality, loss of coordination, and possible dizziness. The long-term effects on humans are not known, nor is the possibility of addiction. Because of this, it is unknown if there are any signs of physical or psychological dependence. However, in animals, it has shown to cause memory loss and an inability to learn new concepts. The United States Food and Drug Association has not approved salvia for any medical uses, but in rare cases, salvia helps relieve some of the symptoms of perception-altering diseases, which is quite ironic since salvia itself alters perception. In very small amounts, salvia is used without prescription by those with severe schizophrenia. This will reduce the symptoms or at least make them seem less intense. Here with us today is Nicholas Philipson, an active user and advocate of salvia, and the founder in chief of the Salvia for Life Club. Nicholas, could you please? Yeah, did you know that there's about uh, 500,000 high school students that use salvia? Uh, that's surprising. Uh, now, could you please tell me? And to all those future uh, users out there, its half life is like really short, so even if you pee in a cup, they just can't tell you. Wow, that is quite an interesting fact, Seymour. Now, sir, can you please just... But don't, like, chew the leaves, because it gets so bitter you'll throw it all up and cleaning it sucks. Sir, please, just tell me. Are you worried that with the growth of legal marijuana, salvia will be forgotten and unable to find on store shelves? Nah, you'd be crazy. Hit the stop button, dumbass. If you or a loved one is like Nicholas, please consider contacting or visiting the following treatment centers. Until next time, this is Stanley Stanson and Seymour Butts, signing, signing off. off. Good, Good night. night.